Well, we left Samar on Coaquiling Ferry Shipping Lines, and it's a 12-hour overnight ride to the pier in Cebu. So we make a night of it, get a cabin, and uh, go to sleep and wake up. The next morning, we're at the Mactan Bridge, as you see here. We uh, got a little in a little early for the Supercat ride, so we headed on over to the SM Mall, where uh, Terry got stuck at the jewelry counter while I went over to Ace Hardware and picked up a few things that we needed. Every time I come to Ace Hardware in Cebu, I see more foreigners in the store than I do uh, Filipinos. We had some time to kill, so we watched the uh, the driving school. Uh, I don't know if this is LTO sponsored, but probably should be. Start them when they're young. So we finally made it over to the Supercat. Uh, we got our tickets and we're waiting to get on board. And uh, once we got on board, we got settled in pretty quick. And it's just about an hour ride from the pier in Cebu to Tagbalaran on the island of Bohol. We then met up with some family members in, uh, at the Ocean Suites Hotel where we picked up a driver for the day who also doubled as our tour guide. We stopped at the Ocean Suites Hotel on uh, some advice from some friends uh, because it was a good place to meet and they had supposedly the best mango shakes around. So that's what we did. Mango shakes for everyone. When everyone finished their mango shakes it was into the van and off to the Rio Verde floating restaurant. I'm just glad we didn't get stuck on the angry turtle boat. It looks mean. The river cruise is a, it's a nice little buffet dinner cruise. They got some entertainment on board. Pretty much all you can eat. Filipino buffet style. The food was good. Uh, the music was entertaining. And it was just a nice relaxing float down the river. And then we discovered that something awaited us around the bend. At this point, the boat captain reminded everybody that we were going to have to make an emergency stop. And the rumors were that the uh, jungle natives were pretty restless. And as it turned out, they weren't restless at all. They were actually happy to see us. We actually all got to disembark and uh, we walked around, visited the little souvenir shop. We got to test our skill shooting arrows, we banged on some drums, sat with the natives. Um, I stayed away from this guy. I think everybody did. Not sure what kind of snake it was, but I don't care. I don't like snakes. Live ones or dead ones. Yeah, this was cute. I don't know what that is, but it was pretty green. What do you call a lady Tarzan? A tarzan -S? Hey, wasn't that turtle looking the other way a minute ago? I promise you there were no ankles injured in the making of this movie because I didn't do it. So the surprise entertainment stop was a, a surprise, and it was fun. I just wasn't going to volunteer. 
So we, uh, after that, we made it back to the boat terminal where we disembarked and headed back to uh, the relative's house. Uh, actually, before we did, though, we did make a stop at the, the famed Chocolate Hills. We got to visit the uh, famous Magellan Buddy Meeting Place. We also visited the underground cave with the lake and uh, got our toes wet. And, of course, we visited the Tarzir Reserve. And the next day we just had to get over to Alona Beach. It was not crowded at all and it's kind of nice that way because that way I get the bartender's undivided attention. Um, we also visited the famous church that got destroyed in the, the earthquake and uh, we haven't had time for a uh, luncheon barbecue. For the return trip to Cebu, the uh, southwest monsoon picked up some seas and the supercat was out so we took the regular ferry back to Cebu.